Hey folks, Mr. Tolly. In keeping with my something a little different, I showed you where I showed you how to put the how I made my fender mounts. I got to get the fenders put on too. After I made the mounts, it got tremendously hot, and then uh, had a couple of cooler days, and I managed to get that fender put on on one of them. And I had it all cleaned up. I should have sprayed some paint on it of some sort just to protect it, but I didn't. And the humidity and the heat got so horrible again. The humidity was high enough to rust that fender like it is. But that's not what we're going to talk about. We're going to mount the other fender, and I'm going to show you how I did that one. Uh, it actually worked out pretty well. So I'm going to reposition and we'll get set up. Alrighty. I need to find the center of this off the frame. So what I do is I just take my square and put it on here. And apparently I didn't square up that mount as good as I should have. But I can pretty much see that we're a little high. Um, I could, if I wanted to, I could put a jack under the mount and raise this end a little bit, which is what I think I'm going to do right now, so I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, now that I have this a little better here, um, we can put the fender on. Now I'm going to put a board back here that's three quarters of an inch wide so that I can push my fender up against it. I'm going to set my track square here at an inch, which is not an arbitrary number. This is three quarters of an inch, this is a quarter of an inch. That's how we get an inch. And I have a mark on the back here. So what I can do like that and we're good now I do need to get the fender straight so I'm gonna clamp another board going straight up and I'll be back in a minute when I do that all right hopefully you can see this okay I put the board up here not clamp the other side. I only have one needle nose vice grip, and uh, the vice grip isn't going to work to do it. So <laughs> we're using the using what we got, <coughs> and I'm only going to show you the one side anyway. So um, double checked everything. This board is straight up and down with the frame, and we've got our three quarter inch spacer in here, down in here, and uh, this is basically the setup that I got going. So I am going to put a clamp on this board just to hold the fender in place and then we'll get to making our lines and getting ready to drill our holes so we'll go back in a minute alrighty remember these things are a godsend when you're doing stuff like this so I can go up against my frame this way and get a straight line coming out so Hold this up against the frame, the flat part there, and the other part so I'm square into the frame this way. I'm just going to take my marker and make a mark. Right across the fender. Can you see that? Right across here. Now, the 
fenders nine and a half inches wide. So I'm going to make a mark at four and a half. Another at two inches. And another at seven inches. And that's where my three bolts are going to go to hold the fender on. I'm going to use quarter 20 bolts. Um, all I could find when I was looking for bolts was regular bolts. <laughs> I will eventually order some uh, cap screws or something that looks a little more attractive. So I'm going to go ahead and um, mark my holes with a center punch and drill them. I don't think you really need to see me drilling holes. So I'll show you this side. The other side is exactly the same. Exactly the same process. So I'm only going to show you the one side. When I drilled through the fender, I just left a mark on the mount. So now I'm going back and uh, drilling the holes in the mount. I'll be back in a minute when I'm ready to tap them out. Well, we got the fenders on, mounted up, and painted even. Not great paint, but, <laughs> you know, it, I just rattle canned them. Uh, I'll take them out and get them powder coated when I'm ready to make them permanent. Anyway, they're mounted. My, uh, the video that I made for while I was tapping the holes and stuff got wrecked. So, what, you know, stuff happens. What do you do? I got both of them on. And, uh, next step I think is putting on the sides, which should be pretty interesting. <laughs> So, we'll take you along for that one too when I get to it. Uh, I also have to get a floor in it, so we'll be back when all that happens. It's just something a little different. Thanks for watching.